Hey guys, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another thrift haul. These next few videos you're going to be seeing are hauls from all the places that we went to in Philadelphia. So you're seeing this on a Monday. I'm filming this on a Thursday, so I just got back not even maybe two days ago now. I'm already missing everyone to pieces, but we can always talk to each other through text if we want to. They all did uh, videos when we were there, and I hope you guys watch those because they're great. And you get kind of like a little peek into some of the places we visited. So I didn't do any filming while I was there. I always say I'm going to do a shop with me, but I just never end up doing it because, I don't know, I like to focus on finding the stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is everything that I picked up at any of the Goodwills that we visited. So we visited a lot of Goodwills, Second Avenue thrift stores, mom and pop thrifts, and a couple of antique stores. We didn't do a lot of them because sometimes prices can be a little high on stuff. But anywho, for $9.99, I found this new in the box Little Tykes rocking chair uh, from the 90s, as you can see, judging by that little boy's clothing right there. This is definitely, quote unquote, up there in age. And I did look it up, and they were going for like $75 and up. I didn't see any new in the packaging, so I might list this one a little bit higher. So I might go maybe like 130 with best offers. But I think somebody is going to absolutely love having one of these for their kids now. And You know, this is the time of year to list it because you can sit outside, and it's perfect. For $3.99 each, I picked up two lime green Pyrex casserole dishes. This one almost reminds me of a pie plate, but I think they're casseroles. They did not have their lids. Funny enough, Dee and I, I think both spotted them first on the shelf, and then I put them down. I wasn't sure about them. And then Scott goes over and sees them. He's like, nobody wanted this lime green Pyrex? And then he's like, will anybody want them? And I'm like, you know, I might as well just take them for four bucks a piece. So they might need a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend just because there's some markings on them, but I think they'll clean up nicely, and they are marked Pyrex. I will do my research on those, but I felt that $4 a piece was a steal of a deal. For $3.99, I picked up this old 1930s God Bless Our Home wall photo, photo, picture, uh, it's got Jesus in the center. You got nice little like foil lettering and foliage all around it. I don't normally pick up the religious items. I know that there are some people out there who collect religious art and or like to have this stuff out year round because they just love it. So I saw it and I was like, let me give it a shot. It might be maybe $14, $15 at a live sale. You might have to insert some new... Um, prongs to hold it in place because some of them are not there, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. For $6.99, I found this really awesome mid-century glassware. I think it's supposed to be a compote or something. I don't know if there was a lid that went to it at one point. I really liked the swirl stem. I assume that this is probably in poly or some kind of like 60s, 70s glass. I saw it and I was like, that is really interesting. I've seen other sellers pick these up before. So I said, what the heck, let me give it a shot. All right, so the next two items are some really unique pieces. This is an Ardalt wall pocket. It could count as a planter too. Got a really nice intricate design of the flowers and such on it. It is marked on the back, Ardalt, Japan. I believe I got this, it said $4.99, but I think the green tags at this one store were two, uh, half off, so I only got it for $2.50. Steal of a deal. And this piece was really interesting. I'm amazed that the little water spigot was not broken off at some point, but it's got a kind of like a Victorian look to it, probably from the 40s or maybe even the 50s. That I think was $4. Those will be up for grabs at a live sale. All right, so here are some more fun goodies from all the different Goodwills that we went to. For $1.49, I picked up this Bromwell's Sifter still works. It's very functional. I know that a lot of people like to decorate with those, so I went ahead and picked that up. These I spotted on the shelf at one of the stores we visited. It's a boy and a girl bowling. 
And I did offer them to Vintage Uprise in Texas because I know that she has uh, family members who bowl and, or who have bowled for many years. She decided to pass, so I went ahead and picked them up. Now this I absolutely love. Look at this pig playing a violin. Isn't that just adorable? That was $4.99. It is marked Japan on the bottom. I think it was probably a lamp for maybe a kid's room or something like that. But I absolutely love that. I thought that was super unique and I just couldn't leave it behind. Now, I don't know how many people out there love balloons, but I saw this um, PC Japan or RO Japan trinket box with balloons on it. It was $3.99. Very unique. I will look that up to see what it's going for. Otherwise, it will be at a live sale. Now, this was a really good find right here. This is a Balik piece. It is marked, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera there, but it does say Balik Ireland right there where my camera is focusing. I believe that you hung this on your wall and you put holy water in here. Here's the back. I paid $4.99 for that. I did look these up in the store to see what they were going for. And this is about a $30 piece. So that was a very good score. I love mid-century kitsch and just fun, funky looking things from the 50s and 60s and 70s. And this says, Morning Gorgeous. And it's a man in his boxer shorts. It looks like he has a toothbrush and a toothpaste that he squirted all over the floor. It's an ashtray. It's marked California, made in U.S. Pay $2.99 for that. I think that's supposed to be an ashtray because of the little rivets right there for the cigarettes. But I thought that that was a super fun piece. For $3.99, I picked up this Odagiri, I think these are supposed to be seals, uh, music box. I wonder if it's a, a place, You Are My Sunshine. So I thought that that was a very, very fun piece. That's probably 12, 14 bucks at a live sale. This is super adorable. I paid $2.99 for this. It's a piggy bank, and I love his face. He looks so happy. He's probably happy because he just ate a whole bunch of food. That's why he's so big. But he was fun. I think somebody out there is going to absolutely love that. So I went ahead and picked that up. All right, the next group of goods we're going to be looking at are some very fun pieces. For $4.99, I picked up this really awesome red, white, and blue ice bucket. I believe it's probably Hazel Atlas, something along those lines. That would be fantastic in a 4th of July display. I wish I had the glasses, but I, I'll take what I can get because that was a really good find. For $3.99, I picked up a stainless steel gravy bowl with a ladle by Leonard. As you can see, this box does have some age. Both the spoon and the bowl themselves are still there, so I was really excited about that. For $5.99, I picked up a vintage Snow White figurine. Uh, it says Walt Disney Productions Japan on the bottom. No cracks, no chips, no repairs on her at all. So that was definitely a good pickup on my part. So this was something that I remember buying, I think my first, like we, Scott and I went out thrifting before we picked Tammy, Dave, D. Tammy, Dave, and D at the airport. So... He saw it first, and then he set it down. I'm like, dude, are you not going to get that? Look at that. Old cast iron swivel coat rack. I don't know exactly of the age, but I definitely think this would do really well. I paid $7.99 for that. Ooh, sorry, folks. So I paid $7.99 for that, and I think I could do pretty well with that. I'm not exactly sure what I'll ask for it, but I know I can make more than $7.99. All right, and for $6.99, I found these four wall plaques. It looks like they've got Greek gods or something on them. I haven't seen what the other ones look like. Let me go ahead and close this video down, and then I will open that up so we can see what else is on here. So here's what all four look like when they are probably hanging on a wall. So we've got gods and goddesses. I believe that this style was popular in the 60s, late 50s, early 60s. So they're, they're, I don't, how do you describe it? They're bisky. They're not painted. They're all white. I just thought they were really cool. And here I go saying my most famous line. I've never seen these before. Granted, I wasn't born when these were made and when this was popular. 
but I just thought they were super unique and $7 was definitely worth it in my opinion. Okay, and the very last thing I'd like to share with you all, and probably the best score at the Goodwills in my opinion, happens to be these five Fiesta Wear mugs, and look how much I paid for them. $2.99. Let me go ahead and tear the bag open so you guys can see what they look like. And here's what they all look like outside of the bag. So here is the bottom. Uh, these very well could be modern, but Fiesta is expensive brand new. And what I'm thinking about doing is I'll probably put these in a live sale. I'll probably ask $30 for the five of them, so that's $6 a piece, which for Fiesta is a very good price. Because you go to Kohl's or any other department store that sells Fiesta, and it ain't cheap. Even just one mug can be really expensive. And I, the reason I bought these is because I liked the blue. It, it's very much a patriotic blue. They got the ring handles. And I just thought that they would be a great piece to add to your 4th of July vignette. So folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from the Goodwills that we visited in Philly. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items from this haul, as well as if you happen to be interested in anything that I say is for sale. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, the link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.